Greetings, viewers. I'm at the Bombala Bike Show. How good's that? Who's a lucky boy, eh? And what a great time it is. I got here last night. Um, there was uh, quite a good crew. There was probably 100 people, I'm guessing. Quite a few tents. They said that was a big for a Friday night. Um, everyone's just sitting around chilling and still warming up. It's probably, I don't know, 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. Everyone's, uh, what a great atmosphere. Everyone's friendly. Everyone's happy. No aggro. Uh, really well run. Uh, they got a lot of entertainment going on here. They have already set up, there's about plenty of food, maybe four, five or six all, uh, for food. Um, there's drink, they got a bar, they got um, no, and everything you can want. They got stuff for the kids, they got blow up castles, they got. And they're going to have tug of war and auctions and tattoo competitions and sound offs and burnouts and oh, I don't know. It just keeps going. And of course, the bike show, that's what it's all about. We get to an older army sort of look about it. Uh, I guess it's a Ural. A lot of companies had a go at making these supposed twins. Certainly, BMW well known, but um, I think Harley had a go at making one of these, uh, Zundap, the Ural, here we go, a Walla, W-L-A Harley, nicely presented, yeah, he's got it looking pretty good, especially the chair, the chair is uh, really nicely done, I don't know if they're the original pipes, Oh, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, have a look at that. He's done nice work on the wood, the upholstery, the paint job, got the boot. I'm guessing it's a thing sidecar made in Melbourne. Now we'll come over to the uh, first section we're looking at Harley's. It's predominantly Harleys here on the weekend. I would have liked to have seen a bit more variety, but it really doesn't. I guess that's a modern world. You know, Harleys are very popular. I'm on a Harley too. I can't say anything. No, if you're going to show a bike, it's probably going to be pretty good. And they pretty much all work. Nice paint jobs and some people got more money than me. I get uh, the rocker, I think it's a rocker. I like the alloy oil tank on the rockers. I'll put one on a bike one day. Be a boring world if everyone thought, thought the same as I did. Yeah. So custom paint is alive and well. Here's a bobber we have, which is very well presented as well. Somebody put a lot of effort into this. In blending to the gold, blending to the black. Yeah, looks good. Uh, still got the pips on the door. The display volume. But still looks good. Now, another bike, nice looking thing. Now, have a look at this chopper. I saw the guys unloading it. Pretty cool guys, same, all very friendly and stuff. Uh, well finished bike. This bike is a hundred percent. Well, if you don't. If you don't mind the front guard missing, it is, yeah, so I had a close look at this. Uh, attention to detail, very good, very good. On the soft tail. V-Broad. 
sort of reasonably common look for a breed rod, you know, with the apes, funky apes and big front wheel. Japanese chopper, nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of them around in the old days. And the black, another black V rod. Looking pretty low. Have a look at this. I like this. This really pops. No chrome. I don't like. This. I'm not too big on the full black. But this, uh, this goldy orangey up against the black. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This. This got me excited. Yeah. This. This. Um, perhaps my favourite bike. Ooh, that chopper was pretty good too. Now. Yeah. Another really nice paint job. Everyone's into the big front wheels. So much rubber, I don't know how they handle. I've never ridden one. I've read somewhere where they sell all those bikes cheap. They sell them a hundred at a time or something. They auction them off and they go cheap. Oh, but it wasn't cheap for him, though. Uh, Jigsaw. Everybody loves a Jigsaw. Well, maybe not everybody, but yeah. You want to show them some respect as you see their tail light disappear. Old pan. Comfy seat. I'm told those seats are, those poco seats, police seats, whatever they are, are very comfy. We got a two stroke. Ding, ding, ding. Worth money too, the old two strokes. Uh, I'm guessing that it's a well presented two stroke too. Honda 750. You have to show respect. They um, they changed the motorbike world, that's for sure. Another Suzuki. I don't know if that's a... Yeah, I'm not too much up with it. I think this is a Casey Dono race bike replica. Oh, I'm sure he can beat me. What have we got over here? We've got a bit of an audience going on. Oh, we have a K100 BMW. Looking very neat. And the Motoguzzi behind it. Right around the world. Either of them would probably do it pretty well. But long distance cruisers vary. The, um, I think we'll stop the voiceover. We'll trim the movie. That's it. Let's trim. Cool. And it's the beat ride. Everybody put your hands together for Irish! Hello right guys, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for turning out here today. It's been absolutely brilliant to see all 
you can see all here and support us. Uh, you know, we've been having a hard time for a few years trying to get this together. And just to see all this, this fabulous. So, I want to, want to thank um, Grand Matriarch and the Imperial Hotel, some of our main sponsors. We'll get on to some of the other ones a bit later. There's so many of them. And there's been so much goodwill. And for our charity of choice, you know, South Canberra Veterans Shed, I've seen you Steady, steady. 